So before we talk about optimum neurotransmission, I want to talk about or I want to give you guys a crash course in how medicine works or how a drug works in your body. And what I'm going to be telling you or what I'm going to be teaching you is is a zoomed out view of what most doctors would learn or would take many, many years to learn. I just feel it's explained in a little in a way that's a little too complex. So I'm going to try to simplify it. Major concepts, right? So the first thing is that when you take a drug, you can take it in a drug in many different ways. You can pull it through your mouth. You can actually administer it rectally. You can use IV. But in whatever way you administer a drug, let's assume for now you're administering it through your mouth. What happens first is that it goes all the way down to your stomach. If it survives your stomach's acid, then it goes all the way into your colon and then it disintegrates and then through the junctions of your colon it enters the bloodstream both your small intestine and your colon not just your colon but through your small intestine and your colon it enters your bloodstream at the micro level form is function so when a molecule enters your bloodstream it is either an agonist it's an antagonist or it's a membrane inhibitor. And we're not gonna talk about membrane inhibitors because they're a little too complex for this conversation. But let's talk about agonists and antagonists. So every drug in that's put in the human body has a form. It's got a chemical structure. And if you've studied any basic chemistry, you know what chemical structures look like. Now, these drugs fit into what are known as receptors, right? So in the body, just as simple as how a square will fit into a square shaped hole or a key fits into a lock, the drug fits into a receptor or a hole. It's a, it's a lock and key mechanism. And with agonist drugs, when this lock and key fit happens, then that receptor generates more of what is supposed to be generated. Right, so it continue like if it binds to a particular receptor that releases, say, a neurotransmitter like acetylcholine, then more acetylcholine is released when an agonist is placed there. Whereas with an antagonist, it's like one of those things that jams a receptor, so less is produced. Right, so if you use an antihistamine or you take cetirizine or any sort of um, antihistamine. Um, or Allegra, you, it's an antagonist, which means it blocks the effects of histamine on histamine receptors, so you get less symptoms. Now, what used to happen in the earlier days is we used to make very poor keys for very specific locks. And because of this, because these keys weren't well designed, they'd fit into many other different locks. And because of that, you'd have side effects. That's one way to generate side effects. But today, as time goes on, as science gets more precise, as we enter the era of precision medicine, and I'm not talking about precision medicine in, um, as in uh, talking about your genes, I'm talking about um, as we get better with pharmacology, uh, we are able to create better keys that fit very specifically into very specific locks, right? So less side effects or almost no side effects. And you'll find that the receptors for side effects, they're very similar to the receptors uh, for the actual intended effect too. Now, when a drug enters your bloodstream, it goes into circulation, right? It goes all throughout your body, all the way from the tip of your toes to the tip of your hands. And some drugs are too big, so they don't enter past something called the blood-brain barrier. So the brain is protected from the action of many drugs and toxins. However, if a drug is small enough, if a molecule is small enough, it can actually enter the brain, in which case it passes through the permeability of the blood-brain barrier. Now, when these drugs are in your bloodstream, there is also the concept of clearance, which means as this drug circulates, it is removed from the bloodstream either through the liver or the kidney or the lungs. Right? So the net clearance from the body is the sum of the clearance from the liver, the lungs and the kidneys. So whenever you search for any medicine and you go to its Wikipedia page, you look at something called clearance, which is basically, is it hepatic? Which means does it clear from the liver? Is it renal? Which is, does it clear from the kidney? And how much time does it take to actually clear? With older people, because they can, they have poorly functioning kidneys or poorly functioning livers, the amount of drug in their bloodstream will be higher, so you give them a lower dose. Now this brings me to the point of how do we ensure we have optimum neurotransmission? The first step is to find out what our current neurotransmission and what our current hormonal profile is like. 
so you just go map out your entire basically get every test possible right now in 2000s it would be silly right you can't get every test possible but today it's getting cheaper and cheaper and at some point you'll be able to profile your entire like every chemical known to man in your bloodstream for a very very cheap price when that happens you know your current profile and then what you do is you can choose what your optimum profile should be so there'll probably be a device in the future that tells you okay do you want to be happier do you want to have more energy in the mornings do you want better sleep and you or do you want less allergy and you just press those buttons and it tells you what your optimum profile or your optimum um blood uh, work should look like right and then you press that button and a series of drugs are given to you that op- that changes your current profile to the new profile you want so i believe in the future we're going to have this precision medicine where we check your current profile we check what the optimum kind of profile you want is we also check your genome to make sure you're you know you're not overly affected by some drugs because some drugs you know in case your genome skews that way you could have different kinds of clearance um so we look at that and then eventually we're like okay here are the drugs that are dispensed to you you can take it every morning and whether you like that concept or you don't like that concept it is going to eventually happen so i mean humanity has always been known to self medicate even when you take ayurveda or homeopathy or whatever the intended goal is for you to self medicate the intended goal is you want to feel better you want to have better days and so far the industry is selling you these these um, these things that don't work as supplements that's why they're unregulated but the minute something has like good efficacy and obviously there are supplements that work like l glutamine or something which which you would anyway find in real food which you can take in high doses but anything that has that binds to a particular receptor that has real effects on your body will probably need to go through a pharma and or a pharmacy and a doctor but eventually this would be personalized medicine and people will be taking real drugs instead of taking cheap knockoffs or something that doesn't work at all you guys should get used to the fact however jarring that sounds because at the end of the day we as human beings are chemical machines right and there's no harm there's no i mean there is harm but there's no there's no judgment on wanting to feel a little better right there's no judgment on wanting to have better days there's no judgment on wanting to have a slight advantage at work there's no judgment on wanting to lead your life a little better especially when most people realize that people are not born with optimum profiles some people could be born with smaller adrenals they produce less cortisol in the morning they're always tired some people are born with anxiety and depression with tendencies towards anxiety and depression their serotonin tr- transport receptors don't work as well right so when you have this level of empathy for other people you understand their needs and their wants for having optimum profiles and i believe it's coming whether we like it or not